welcome to impart math knowledge before watching this video please subscribe my channel and share to your friends this video is about matrix method in game theory in game theory problems first we have to check whether saddle point exist or not if saddle point exist means we can find the value of the game directly otherwise we can go for convenient method here i am going to explain matrix method step 1 we have to find the row matrix and column matrix for finding row matrix we have to subtract each row from the previous row and write the values in the bottom of the matrix that is uh, second row from first row third row from second row fourth row from third row like that we can subtract for finding the column matrix we have to subtract each column from the previous column and write the values in the right side of the matrix that is second column from the first column fourth column from the third column and so on step 3 we have to find the row oddments and column oddments row oddments from column matrix and column oddments from row matrix after that we have to find the probabilities of strategies of player a and player b at last we have to find the value of the game let us move on to the problem solve the following 3 by 3 game by the method of matrices in the given problem saddle point does not exist so we have to go for the mixed strategy to find the value of the game here i am going to use matrix method to find the value of the game step 1 we have to find row matrix and column matrix for column matrix we have to take the difference between column 1 and column 2 and then column 2 and column 3 c1 minus c2 is 3 minus of minus 1 that is 4 Minus three, minus three, so I'll get minus six. Minus four, minus of minus three, that is minus one. You get. Now C two minus C three is minus one, minus of minus three, that is two. Three minus of minus one, that is four. Minus three, minus three, that is minus six. For row matrix, you have to take the difference between row one and row two, and then row two and row three. Now R one minus R two is three minus of minus three, that is six. Minus one minus three, that is minus four. Minus three minus of minus one, that is minus two. R two minus R three, minus three minus of minus four, that is one. Minus three minus of minus three that is six. Minus one minus three that is minus four. Row matrix is six minus four two one six minus four. Column matrix is four two minus six four minus one minus six. step 2 we have to find the row oddments from column matrix you skip the first row and you take the determinant of second row and third row values determinant of minus 6 4 1 6 minus if you take the determinant you will get a 36 plus 4 that is 40 for a2 you skip the second row and you take the determinant of first and the third row that is 4 2 1 6 that is minus 24 plus 2 this is equal to plus 22 here we are taking the magnitude so you will get the positive value for a3 you skip the third row and you take the determinant of first and the second row that is 4 2 minus 6 4 this is equal to 16 plus 12 that is 
Step 3, we have to find the column ordinates from row matrix. B1 is equal to, you, for that you skip the first column and you take the determinant of second and third column that is minus 4, 2, 6, minus 4. That is 16 plus 12, so the value is 28. For B2, you skip the second column and you take the determinant of first and the third column. 6, 1, minus 2, minus 4. So the value is minus 24 plus 2. So this is equal to 22. Now for B3, you skip the third column and you take the determinant of first and the second column. That is 6 minus 4, 1, 6. 6 into 6, 36 plus 4. 36 plus 4 is equal to 40. Row oddments are 40, 22 and 28. Row oddments are 40, 22, 28. Column oddments are 28, 22 and 40. 28, 22 and 40. Row oddment total and the column oddment totals are always equal. Here the total is 90. Next we have to find probabilities of strategies of player A. Probability for strategy A1 is P1 which is equal to given value divided by total value that is 40 by 90. Probability for strategy A2. The given value is 22, total value is 90. Now probability for strategy 3. P3 is equal to given value is 28, total value is 90. Now the probability for player B, Q1 is equal to given value is 28, total value is 90. So 28 divided by 90. Probability for B2 is 22 by 90. And probability for B3 is Q3 that is 40 by 90. From row ornaments and column ornaments, we can find the probabilities of strategies of player A and player B. Step 4, we have to find the optimum strategies for player A and player B from previous step. Okay, the probability for the first strategy is 40 by 90, probability for the second strategy is 22 by 90, probability for the third strategy is 28 by 90. For player B, the probability for first strategy is 28 by 90, the probability for second strategy is 22 by 90. The probability for a third strategy is 40 by 90. Next we have to find the value of the game. You can multiply and add first column value with the probabilities or second column with the probabilities or third column with probabilities. Similarly you can do row wise also. First row with the corresponding probability, second row with corresponding probability and third row with corresponding probability. The answer will be the same. So now value of the game is 3 into 40 by 90 plus minus 3 into 22 by 90 minus 4 into 28 by 90. That is 3 into 40 by 90 plus minus 1 into 22 by 90 plus minus 4 into 28 by 90. If you multiply and add, you will get minus 29 by 45. Value of the game is equal to minus 29 divided by 45. Here the value of the game is negative. If negative means player B is the gain player, player A is the loss player. Hope you all understand. Thank you for watching.